Welcome to Designated Report Flick Takes. I'm Hasib, along with my partner Pete. We're going to be talking about Zack Snyder's Justice League. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Pete, let me know, man. What did you like about this movie compared to the original cut? All right. So when you comparing those two, honestly, this was exciting. Okay. This, I, I thought, I, I was a little more excited watching it than the first one because the first one has so many unanswered questions by the time it was done you were like okay what happened here? i mean you know is there something you want to tell me because a lot of these questions a lot of the scenes were somewhat called transitioned into something else but you can't now see how they should have ended <laughs> so it kind of helped answer a lot of the questions now you know so was it like the best movie no but i would i definitely appreciate it a lot more than the first one yeah, me personally, I enjoyed the fact that we had more context mm -hmm. with, uh, with the Flash's backstory and Cyborg's backstory. I feel like in the first movie, we didn't get any of that at all. So, yeah. Yeah, I appreciated that. And with four hours, mm -hmm. they better have done all that. <laughs> Otherwise, what was the point of all this? And the thing is, you know, with, given that you they didn't do any standalone movie for a lot of these movies, backstory, from, you know, should have been was necessary in the first one because yeah some people read the comics others don't but you know if somebody just wants to see the movie they should at least know where this came from and that came from can't give them half of the story and assume that everything was okay because i didn't realize in the movie that there was such a big problem between cyborg's father and and his and the son yeah i mean you know father and son may have their their issues but there was more to that you know that they didn't explain in the first one and this one definitely answered those questions all right. Uh, do you have any MVPs? Well, for me, it's flat. I mean, I like jokes. I like, you know, I like anything comical. I like funny. And I think uh, uh, Flash definitely took the MVP for me on my side because not only he, he really played the role, the typical Barry Allen we know, both from the comics and, you know, in general, because he, he's funny, he, he had the you know punchline at the right time, and like you know, and he played uh, like he was um, like he was confused at the right time because he is supposed to be the youngest of them all, and you know he sort of came and played that role pretty well. So I appreciated him a lot more. So I give him the MVP for this. Role. Yeah, I liked Ezra in this movie. Um, he was really really good, really funny, and I appreciated his comic relief. Um, I, I agree, uh, but I will go a different route. I'm gonna go with uh, Jason Momoa as Aquaman. Um, he's not the best actor in the world, but mm -hmm. you could tell by watching this movie, mm -hmm. he's just having fun. Yeah. He's really enjoying himself and all the, my man, all right, really hit me in all the right spots. Yeah. I, I'm a Momoa fan, I'm a Stan, what can I say? Um, <laughs> What are, you, what are your overall thoughts about this movie? Well, <clears throat> other than the fact that it was I mean, twice as long as the, the, the original one, I, I think uh, that movie, uh, it definitely uh, give us more character development, which was very appreciated, of, of course. But I think four hours was not necessary. <laughs> I think this oh. movie could have been... <laughs> It could have been 30 minutes shorter and still would told it would have told the same, uh, give you the same information, would have told the same story. But I think a lot of dragging sometimes was unnecessary. But it's, I don't know, Zach just, he likes to take his time. I mean, in, you know, a lot of these movies he's made before, you can tell, you know, in some instances he would, uh, he just kind of come out and, and, and uh, drag his feet and tell you to sit down and enjoy the cinema, you know? so. So I, I thought overall it could have been a thirty minute less and still you know be a, a good a good movie, but you know it is what it is. But I I, I I enjoyed it though. Yeah, no, I agree with you, man. It's like it's still entirely way too long. Like I appreciate twelve that minutes, man. Just yeah, four hours dude. and twelve minutes. Yeah, like he. I wish he was a little bit more efficient, but mm -hmm. Zach being who he is, likes making a lot of grandiose movements. Um, yeah, dude, way too long. Um, I would like to mention one of my favorite scenes in this movie, actually my favorite chapter is chapter two. 
because I feel like there's a whole context behind why Darkseid is trying to get there. Yeah. The whole uh, original Age of Heroes movement, mm -hmm. the Age of Heroes scene, I thought that was terrific. I I enjoyed that. I kind of wish we had a whole separate movie about that. That mm -hmm. would have been really fun. Mm -hmm. um, I thought overall it was just, yeah, like you said, it just dragged. It, it dragged so much. Uh, it felt disjointed in the first maybe a couple of chapters with all the back and forth from this character to that character. And I know they're trying to set it up, but I I really wish they had more movies before this one so they could have set up everybody else. It would have helped. If, yeah, if man. They, if they should see any fault in this whole thing, they should just start developing each of the characters one by one before they come up with another Justice League. Because even this, this one gives you the whole idea that there might be a sequel, but don't just come out with another one, man. Just give give people an idea of what these guys are really capable of by themselves, and then when you reunite them, the excitement is a lot more is a lot stronger. I mean, one I did enjoy the the Amazonians fight. Uh, they they develop that a lot more, and they give them uh, uh, the sense that okay, yeah, they didn't just give it up, uh, you know, because the first time they barely fought for it. I mean, the, most of the fight was done in the field, but in there they showed you how they were protected in the beginning from the time it cracked to the time, you know, to the time that, uh, what's his name, came down, uh, Steppenwolf came down and they showed you that they put up a fight. They even sealed the thing. I didn't know they, they could have done that. They sealed the thing to make sure, okay, we're gonna leave some of our people in there, but it has to be done. Mm -hmm. Just with everybody, everything under water, but Steppenwolf wouldn't die, came back, of course. But it showed a little more dedication and protecting the box instead of, you know, what happened in the first one. It, it just, it didn't connect as much to me. Is there anything else that you want to add that you didn't like maybe, or do you did, you did like this? Well, for liking, uh, I'll start with liking. Um, I like, um, well, I did talk about comic uh, relief from from Ezra, but my favorite part from him, that's when, when everybody's just gearing up, getting ready for the big fight and he's doing yoga. I mean, yeah, it, it just had me. I, I was just dying because that is so typical of a young kid amongst a bunch of grown-ups. You know, uh, <clears throat> so I like that. Let's see. As far as what else I didn't like about it, I mean, I think, um, I mean, it's, I guess it's the same thing we, we've talked about. You know, it, it, some of it wasn't really, uh, we didn't really feel like it was so connected because because we, we didn't, we didn't see each one of these guys in their own domain. I mean, they did show a little bit of it, but this four hours still wasn't long enough for me to say, oh man, and I yeah, wish don't say that he's gonna make a longer cut. Don't do it. <laughs> I know, right? But I also I wish they taught they showed Iris Allen. Uh, she played Iris Allen. I, I wish they played they played her a little more than just that time he you know he stayed her in the car. I mean, are they ever gonna meet again? Show me at least at the end of the thing, you know. But you know they sort of left it alone and you know got him. I mean, why is she driving and she her eyes are on the other side? She's very irresponsible. Give <laughs> her a driver's license. I know, right? And you know, so and I think they took their time to. And again, uh, other Zack Snyder, he took his time to like he saw that you know the accident was going to happen. He's Flash. He you know he he can hear some of these things, but yet he took forever for him to move and go help her because I don't think the accident needed to happen. But of course, he you know he had to find a way. But I'm still wondering though, did she? realize it was him because she she actually moved in regular motion for a quick minute so did she see was him put her out of the thing and then he disappeared because at that point then she already knows he's flash it felt like she had a knowing look yeah, yeah i'm not sure yeah, yeah I, I don't know but yeah it, it, it just got me but anyway so even if the second one was better than the first one this one still had its own questions so, but Questions I can live with for a little longer. Yeah, for me, there was one thing I disliked. Mm. We had four hours of movie and they still didn't get into what the hell the anti-life equation is. What is it, Pete? I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. And you know, I've, I've been asked that question like throughout the movie and after the movie and it, it was not clear as to what it is. Is it on earth because earth is special? 
I mean, couldn't you really find it anywhere else? I know there was a battle here before, and what's his name? He did this, and his vision, a stepping with, uh, hit the ground with his sword or, or hammer, and he saw it again. So, what, what is that though? Is it just a, a puzzle? I mean, they should have given a little more information to it. I got you. What is it? Why is it there? Why does Dark Side want it so bad? We have no context about what that is. You you would think with four hours they would have carved out some time, but what? He was too busy doing slow motions. That's what it is. Honestly, oh, yeah. I think it was too much slow motion. Un unless you're dealing with Flash, they should or, or Superman, you should not be doing so many uh, um, so so many uh, uh, slow motions. Why? I mean, we did have three minutes of uh, Icelandic chanting. <laughs> We needed that. <laughs> yeah, that four hours, man. Four hours and twelve minutes, if I'm not wrong, it, it's just. <sighs> I think Jasmine, if they did, if they did sing it from the first one, Jasmine Sweden was was right to cut all that out. <laughs> the whole singing, I mean, honestly. Oh, uh, come on! But anyway, so it is yeah. what it is. Huh? Listen to Bud. Out of five, what would you give this? All right. At first, I was really thinking about. I was really excited about it. But you've opened my eyes in some of these things when we talked about it before this. But I'm not gonna be as cruel as you though. <laughs> okay. But I'll give it a three. I'll give it a three. I was thinking about giving it a four, like I mentioned. But I'll give it a three because it has so many holes in it. it you know, you, you, you were right. And I was watching with the excitement eyes, comparing with the first one. So I kind of jumped the gun as to what I would give it. But yeah, in our conversation, you definitely point out some things that definitely were obvious and could have been better. So I'll give it a three because yeah. of the remake. How about you? I think I'm going to give it a two and a half. Um, okay. I, as much as I've been hating on it during this review, it, it was still a little fun. It was. Zack Snyder can do one thing. It's shoot the hell out of an action scene. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh my gosh. Yes, yes. Yeah, so. Yes, definitely. He's excellent at that. Mm -hmm. One of the best. And yeah, it's a much it's it's an okay movie. It's fine. You know what I'm saying? Much better than the original cut. Much, much better. Oh, I mean we can all original cut was a terrible movie. Yeah. And, I mean I still get it more than you did, but <laughs> but I the thing is when when somebody put a movie together, you know, you'll find some holes, you'll find some issues with it. Um but I guess because, you know, I was waiting for all these guys to get together. And so the first one, I, I, I gave it a one when I get, when I scored it. Mm -hmm. Granted, a lot of people were talking about it as if that thing didn't exist. That's how bad it was. But uh, I appreciate it as Zack Snyder did try. And then given that it was all his fault, which just proved it, Josh Sweden took some of that fault. So two directors I like doing the movie, I... I kind of owe each one of them at least half a point. That's why I give the first one, the one point, yeah. but. Uh, as much as I don't want to give Zack Snyder credit, I mean, this is a minor miracle that he made, that he took an incoherent original cut mm -hmm. of the first movie and he made it somewhat watchable, you yeah. know? Yeah. But you got to give him some credit here. Like, yeah, he, definitely. And the thing is, I, I noticed a lot of the shots were his. So I can't, you know, regardless of how they manipulated the shot or did anything with it, I, you know, I guess he deserves most of the credit. Well, he deserves some credit for having taken those shots because Jaswin had to do some reshots too and it proves. And the whole idea of that when he did have to cover he, the mustache because, you know, he was in the movie, uh, what's his name? Superman Mission dude. Impossible. Um, Mission uh, Impossible. Yeah, he was in Mission Impossible. So they had to cover the mustache in order to make to shoot that scene. And it looked terrible. And I'm like, dude, you have all this technology and you still, you know, that, that was weird. That was weird. It looked like the, my mustache right now. And I just cut my mustache for the first time in 15 years. It looked weird. Like I, I'm sitting like a CGI, right? <laughs> but well, Pete, I'm going to ask, why can't Superman have a mustache? Why not? I mean, why Let not? Him live? Man. Yeah. I'm still waiting for a black Superman, so we'll see what happens. <laughs> well, we did have one. I just have, but they say he was the black Superman. <laughs> and he I mean, was, it was supposed to be Will Smith for a long time, right? It was. And then he, he realized it was taking forever. So he did Hancock, which was cool. Uh, and then, um, yeah, so we're still waiting for. I mean, oh, 
I forgot to mention this. Um, one thing, talk another thing I loved, and uh, no, talk to me. What's up? Another thing I loved, and I, 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 I was laughing, like smiling about it the whole time he appeared, is when Superman had the black suit. I love the black suit, man. Mm-hmm. The black suit. Oh my! <laughs> I thought it. I was. I thought it was. It really spoke to to what happened. He's still, you know, um, he's still mourning about his own death. But it was it was pretty cool. I, I like the black suit. I mean, it's not just the design. It's just when Superman has the black suit, he means business. And um, but I didn't like too, he was a little bit too much co- too cocky uh, when when he was fighting Steppenwolf. Mm-hmm. Like I'm not impressed. Uh, kept it a little more humble. That, the Superman we know was a humble person, right? Mm-hmm. This one was a little bit cocky. Maybe death can do that to you. I don't know. But, I yeah. mean, it's kind of Zack Snyder fied, right? And yeah, so exactly. Batman, yeah. So yeah. that's true. That's true. So, yeah. Because yeah, yeah, even Batman. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. The whole "I'm rich" thing. I still don't care about that line. What's your superpower? Um, there's a million things you can say. I mean, it's it's true. It's yeah, kind but, of true. But naming the obvious doesn't really impress me as far as give me something a little more snappy. You know, I'm rich. Yeah. yeah. I know, I see your car, you know, all that stuff, you know, all the gadgets and stuff. Everybody knows Bruce Wayne. But it was a little bit too much, like, too obvious for it to be, uh, I like, a, you know, smart. I don't know. But anyway. Anyway, so, well, anyway. Before we let this go off the rails, and this is the four-hour designated report cut. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Let's just say goodbye to everybody and thank you for watching Designated Reports Flick Takes. Appreciate That's Pete. Mm-hmm. I'm Hasib. Peace out. See ya.